throwing babies off a building, dancing with the dead, going three days without using the bathroom, and suffering 24 hours of pain 20 times over. Here are the seven weirdest rituals that still happen today. No, before you go! Number 1. El Salto del Colacho, Spain in a little village called Castrillo de Murcia, in the Burgos province in Spain, there is a very strange festival that dates back to 1620. The festival lasts a week and culminates on Sunday at 6 in the afternoon. Men from the village dress in red and yellow suits that symbolize the devil or El Colacho. Every baby born in the previous 12 months is laid down on a mattress out in the street. Then with an oxtail in his hand, the Colacho runs down the street and jumps over the babies. This tradition is said to protect them from illness and disease and ward off evil. Number 2. Becoming a Man Brazil Deep in the Amazon jungle, the Satare Mawe tribe has a coming-of-age tradition reserved only for young men. It is painful both physically and psychologically, and supposedly teaches the boys that life without suffering or effort means nothing. The harder the task is to complete, the greater the achievement. The boys, some as young as 12 years old, must collect bullet ants from the forest. These ants are called bullet ants because their bite is said to hurt as much as being shot, 30 times more painful than a bee sting. The ants are then drugged to make them docile, and then each one is woven into a mitten and their stinger facing in. These mittens are then placed inside special ceremonial gloves. When the effects of the drug wear off, the ants find themselves trapped in the gloves and become aggressive. Each young man must then put on the gloves and wear them whilst the tribe leads them in a dance to distract them from their intense pain. After 10 minutes, the gloves are removed, but the pain continues to grow. The hands become paralyzed and the boys suffer fevers, convulsions, and loss of consciousness for up to 24 hours until all the toxins are eliminated. Once they have completed this ritual on 20 separate occasions, they will be considered a true Indian, a warrior and a respected member of the tribe. Number 3. Tidong Tribe, Malaysia the Tidong people have many strange wedding customs. The groom cannot see the bride until he has sung her a variety of different love songs. If the groom is late for the ceremony, he must pay a fine, and the bride is confined to her house during the engagement period. But perhaps the most strangest custom is that of their honeymoon. After the wedding, the bride and groom are locked in their house for three whole days. Not leaving the bedroom for three days may seem like a normal honeymoon, but the Tidong couple isn't allowed to leave the house or use the bar. Bathroom. The couple is prohibited from bathing, urinating, and <clears throat> number twoing. They eat little food and drink little water and suffer together for three days. This tradition is said to prepare them and to teach them how to endure suffering and ensure that they have healthy babies. Failure to complete this tradition is supposed to cause a broken marriage, bad luck, and death of the future children at a young age. If you're enjoying this video, please give us a like and subscribe for more. Number four. Karnataka, India in the state of Karnataka, India, Islamic Sufis practice a ritual that dates back 700 years. Believers give their babies within their first two months of life to the shrine devotees who stand on top of the shrine. The devotees then drop the babies 30 feet down to a bedsheet held by a group of men. After one bounce on the bedsheet, the baby is given back to the parents in front of the cheering crowd. The ritual originates from when a Sufi spiritual guide advised people whose babies were dying to build a shrine and to throw their babies off it, trusting that the Almighty will save them. Apparently, the babies were miraculously saved by a sheep that appeared in mid-air. In 2009, the authorities cracked down on the practice of the ritual, claiming that it was illegal under India's children's rights law. However, although local authorities claim there has been no baby tossing in Solapur since 2010, witnesses claim the ritual still takes place in smaller villages and towns like Mangasuli. Number 5. For Madihana, Madagascar Fumadihana is an after-death tradition known as the turning of the bones. Every seven years, the Malagasy people unite. Family members who live elsewhere return home, and shovels in hand, they all go down to the family tomb and dig their way into the crypt. One by one, the corpses are rolled up in straw mats and removed from the crypt. Once outside, their old garments are removed and fresh silk garments put on. Then each family member takes it in turns to talk to the corpse about their 
their lives and then dance with them to the rhythm of the brass band. Vendors sell drinks and cigarettes and the celebration continues until the sun begins to set. Then the dead are returned to their resting place but laid face down, thus completing the cycle of life and death. Number 6. Teeth Filing Barley this ritual dates back to before the 5th century BC. Teenagers are surrounded by their family to ward off evil spirits whilst a priest files down their canine teeth. The teenager must remain completely silent throughout the ritual to become completely human. The ritual normally takes place after the teenage boy's voice drops or after the teenage girl has had her first period. It is believed that the canine teeth are animal fangs and in order for the teenagers to become full human adults, they must be filed down. This also ensures that the gods will not confuse them with demons. Number 7. Burning Coals, China in some parts of China, there is a tradition that is both strange and yet oddly logical. When a husband and wife conceive a child, the father must carry his wife barefoot over a bed of amber burning hot coals. If he manages this, it is believed that his wife will suffer less during delivery. This ritual does have other meanings though. Empathy. It helps the husband understand the pain his wife will have to suffer. Love. It shows the wife how much the husband loves her and her baby. And protection. It shows how far the husband will go to protect his wife and baby. Which of these rituals surprised you the most? Comment below.